Hero of the Realm. Thomas was enjoying a quiet summer day until Spencer raped his pie with a whoosh. Spencer was visiting Saltwood to help build a summer house for the Duke and Duchess of Boxford. Spencer thought he was better and faster than all the other engines, so Thomas challenged him to a race. Ready, set, go! Spen Thomas and Spencer spent along the rails and raced around Sodor, up and down hills. Faster and faster they went. Suddenly, Thomas's brakes broke. He crashed through some bushes and made an incredible discovery. Thomas found an old engine in need of repair. The engine's name was Hero and he had come from a distant island a long time ago. Tom Hero was once called the master of the railway. Hero was afraid he'd be sent to the scrapyard, and because he wasn't really useful anymore, Thomas promised to repair him in secret and make him as good as new. Thomas found some spare parts at the bustling steamworks, these will be good for Hero, he peeped excitedly. But as he was on his way to visit Hero, Thomas learned something terrible. The Duke and Duchess of Boxford's summer house is right next to Hero's hiding place. Thomas peeped. Spencer will be here every day. Thomas knew he would have to be careful or Spencer would discover Hero. Just then, Spencer steamed around the bend. I think you're up to something sneaky, he puffed. Thomas didn't answer. He just chuffed away nervously. Thomas couldn't do his work and repair Hero on his own. He needed help, so he went to Percy and told him everything. Of course I'll help, Percy peeped. What can I do? So Percy hid his milk cars and helped Thomas with his work. But the loads were, he were too heavy for Percy. He soon popped the valve and needed to be repaired at the steamworks. Sir so Thomas Hatt was very cross that Percy was doing Thomas's work. He didn't tell Sir Thomas Hatt about Hero, but he did tell the other engines because he knew he needed their help. Spencer wanted to know Thomas's secret, so he followed him everywhere. Thomas made sure to lead Spencer as far from Hero as possible. He even went out to the quarry where Spencer had in a dusty accident. Meanwhile, all the other engines helped Hero. They were amazed by his stories about his distant home. Hero liked his new friends, but he missed his old friends. A few days later, Hero was almost as good as new. He just needed Percy to bring one last part, but while Thomas and Hero waited, Spencer huffed him on the track. I knew you were up to something sneaky, Spencer puffed. Hero tried to race away, but without his last part, he sputtered to a stop. As Spencer chuffed off, he laughed and said that he would tell Sir Topham Hatt that the pile of scrap metal was ready for the smelting yard. Thomas knew he had to get Sir Tom Thomas knew he had to get to Sir Topham Hatt first. He and Spencer roared through tunnels and rushed around bends. It was a race of their lives. Spencer was too heavy for the old track that crossed the marsh. With a creak and a crank, he splashed into the water. Thomas spent to Namford Station and told Sir Topham Hatt everything. You have found the master of the railway. We must help Hero at once, Sir Topham Hatt exclaimed. After a visit to the Sunworth Steamworks, Hero was as good as new. 
Her Thomas and Percy couldn't believe their eyes. They blew their whistles happily. Later, Rocky, Thomas, and Hero pulled Spencer from the mud. But only Hero was mighty enough to pull Spencer all the way back to the steamworks. Spencer said he was sorry for being so mean to everyone. Spencer and Thomas and Hero finished the Duke and Duchess's summer house. Together, Hero liked Together, Hero liked his friends on Sodor, but he was still feeling very homesick. Thomas knew Sir Topham Hat could help. It was time for Hero to go home. All the angels gathered at Brenham Docks to say goodbye to their friend, the Master of the Railway. The End <laughs>